Let me just go through what we are looking at here. We will focus on the hangar on the left side. This is a plan view of an aircraft hangar. We have the plane. We have these red lines that symbolize the door tracks. And these rectangular shapes are the door leaves. The one that is yellow is the one that contains the motor and the control panel. A unidirectional door configuration can also be known as a single slide or a one way. For unidirectional doors, the building needs to be designed with just one door pocket. A pocket is where the door leaves slide into. Assuming this door is going to be motorized, this is the only hangar door configuration we offer that requires the one motor. Every other door configuration we talk about later needs at least two. To open the door, the operator will stand here. He or she will hold down the open button on the control panel or the lanyard. As the first door leaf opens, it will pick up leaf number two, and then number three, and finally number four. It will then store inside of the pocket. Your hanger is now fully open. The door closes the same way that it opened and it can be stopped at any time by taking your hand off the open or close button. Now let's look at the hanger on the right. This hanger is wider, so the door pocket is part of the building. It means there's space for an office or a mezzanine, but the door works the same way. In the examples I've shown you, the number of door panels here is four but yours might require more or less. Motorizing hanger doors is an option. This is often determined by the size of the door.